Okay, now we're going to look at a second tool to help with on-page optimization, which is SEO Presser. So it's a, a plugin that you can install into WordPress. And you can see it here over here on the right. You can see for this page at the moment, pretty much everything's in red, which is often what happens when you, you know, first create a page if it hasn't been optimized in any way. SEO Presser, really useful when it comes to just, I suppose, to continue to remind yourself what you actually need to have on your page. So we have a look at the first one here. It says you don't have an H1 tag containing your keyword. So what we would need to do is potentially have something like self-acceptance. And then we change that to a heading one. And now if we update the page, you will very shortly see <laughs> that you have a green tick now for having a H1 tag containing a keyword. So you can use SEO Presser on pages that you already have set up on your site. What happens is within WordPress, you can see that the keyword that we're optimizing there for is self-acceptance. And it allows you to put what the main keyword is down here. Because you can really only optimize a page for one keyword. Okay, so then we'll go through and do the same thing. We put an H2 tag somewhere, an H3 tag somewhere. Um, it's saying that there's not enough keywords to bold and not enough keywords to underline, which basically means you just need to add a whole lot more keywords into the page. So you don't have a keyword in the last sentence and you don't have an internal link. Usually wants you to have the keyword in the first sentence as well. Okay, so if we go down to the bottom, then we might try and put the keyword in the last sentence. So that's all relatively obvious, right? Um, the alt tag may not be so obvious. So if you wanted to put an image with an alt tag, then you just go to the add an image. And we're just going to add it, for example, from the, the media library today. Okay. So just say we're going to add this picture. Okay, so this is where the alt tag is. So this picture has a title, Spiritual Healing. You can keep that or you can change that. It's a good idea to put a little dash in between. Otherwise, sometimes you get like a, a percentage thing coming up between the words. So then what you want to do is put self acceptance in here as the alternative keyword. Um, bearing in mind that these images are going to be potentially searched for in um, Google Images, you may actually want to have this title as being, you know, man with chakra colors or something like that because of what people might be searching for. And again, you could put that in the description as well, what the image actually is, and then your keyword. So it might be um, ch chakra colors self-acceptance or something like that in the description. And then obviously you can choose how big you want it to be and then you can insert that into the post. So now if we update it, then it will come back saying that you have an alt tag set to your keyword. Now if we quickly look at another page on the site, okay, so this page is, is Healing Brisbane. Um, and so you may not want to have the term Healing Brisbane together because it, it might not sound quite right for, for the person who's reading it. So you can see on this page we've put brackets around it. Now if you put brackets or dashes, Google will still be able to find it. But just in SEO Presser, it doesn't actually like the brackets or the, or the little dashes. So just be aware of that. You may still have lots of red, but you know that you've actually optimized the page properly.